This was the prison of the future. When prisoners went to prison, they would have all been forced to put a bomb inside their body. As long as the prisoner could pass the specified yellow limit, the bomb in their stomach would cause them a lot of pain. This was seen as a warning. If the prisoners continued to go to the red line, the bomb in their stomach would get bigger. After a pitiful scream, their stomachs would explode, and they would die. Once they were in prison, escaping was very difficult for them. Because this whole prison was underground, and had 33 floors. All floors were equipped with thermonuclear bombs. Just one bomb exploded, which could make a person fly thousands of miles. Prison doors were also made of lasers. Only a light touch had caused people pain like death, but this camera was the most horrible thing. It could move to any terrain. It could not only zoom in and out clearly. And while the prisoners was sleeping, it could also use infrared rays to scan and know their dreams. When the prisoners dreamed of something they liked, the bomb in their stomach would cause them severe pain and wake up. Just one day in prison, John knew this uncomfortable feeling. But even more terrible things were about to happen. The next day, when John was in the re-education place, suddenly he saw his inmate being bullied. So he went to help and saved his inmate. Unfortunately, he accidentally hit the most ferocious prisoner in this place. There was the number 187 on his forehead. Only prisoners with serious crimes had that mark on their foreheads. This big brother was extremely tall. He grabbed John's neck, and then threw him on the ground, which caused John a lot of pain. Fortunately at this moment, the camera saw them fighting. So it activated the bomb in their stomach to remind and prevent fighting. After that, the three of them were taken to the laser prison. They could only stay silent and dare not move. Not long after, the system asked to cause the fight first. For fear of the big brother's revenge, this prisoner didn't dare to say anything. Seeing that, John couldn't take it anymore so he had to say he hit first. As a result, John was called to the prison chief's office. He said he hated this kind of righteous behavior the most. He told John that. His wife was also taken to their prison. Because she was pregnant with the second child. It turned out that in the future world, resources were limited. Each family could only have one child. Those who were pregnant for the second time would be forced into the operating room. To kill the mother and keep the child. Thus, the population balance could be maintained. When knowing that his wife was also taken to prison. John was very worried and wanted to save her. But his wife was locked up on the top floor. It was 10 floors away from the floor where John was locked up. What should he do? While thinking, the big brother suddenly appeared. He kicked John and made him fall off the stairs. After that, the two of them got into a fight. All of these were seen by the prison chief. He purposely did not stop but wanted to see John beaten to death. When seeing the two of them approaching the bridge, he ordered to take the bridge away. He wanted to force John and the big brother into a dead end and didn't want John to escape. Unexpectedly, John found the big brother's weakness. John quickly defeated that big guy and took the advantage and made him fall down. When seeing the big brother almost couldn't stand it anymore, John was hesitating whether to save or not. At this moment, the prison chief ordered John to kill him. But John shook his head. John reached out to save him. This action caused the prison chief to lose face. So he ordered to activate the thermonuclear bomb to target that big brother in order to shoot him dead. Although that big brother was dead, the prison chief was still angry. He started the bomb as a reminder, which caused all the prisoners great pain. He even made excuses that John didn't obey orders. So John was put in the most brutal torture room of the prison. This was the cruelest punishment in the future prison. Prisoners' heads would be attached to electrical devices. The whole prisoner was tied in a circle. Punishment began to be carried out with John. This circle would rotate 365 degrees. This made John dizzy. After that, he suffered a kind of hallucination. And those hallucinations kept attacking his brain. Until his nerves gradually weakened, and it turned John into an idiot. On the fifth day, John returned to the cell. His inmate was completely dumbfounded. Because at this point, John couldn't say anything. His eyes could only open wide. Fortunately, John was still breathing. At this time, John was like a corpse without a soul. This prisoner named Abraham took out AA matchstick. And burned John's palm but he didn't react. John's life was taken care of by Abraham every day. Abraham helped John bathe and shave. Until that night, the camera moved to the door of John's cell. It used a laser to enter his dreams. In the dream, there was a hole, this was John when he was young. He was always under that hole. At this moment, he saw his wife above the hole. She held out her hand and told him to climb up. With her help, John successfully escaped the hole. This showed that he had escaped the hallucination. After regaining consciousness, John asked Abraham. Why did his wife run into this hallucination? It turned out that during the time John became soulless. 
His wife was forced by the prison chief to stay with him. At first she thought he was a pervert. Until that night, the wife quietly woke up. She was surprised to find out. There were wires connected to the prison chief, as if he was charging. And he didn't hide her either. He admitted his true identity as a robot. He wanted her here because he wanted her to give birth to his child, in order that the child could also be transformed into a robot. Hearing that, she didn't protest, but pretended to agree. She looked for a chance to trick him into drinking a glass of champagne. Waiting for him to get drunk, she found a way to save her husband. After listening, John decided to escape from prison. Abraham told him not to be stupid, because they all had a time bomb in their stomach. But John didn't give up. He took something in the shape of a circle. He said this was the bomb that was put on them. He found it in the big brother's body. As long as they could study how it worked, they would have a chance to escape from here. At this time there was a guy with glasses who said he was an engineer. He might help them. Just like that, he began to study the working principle of the bomb. Meanwhile, John's wife also started her plan. While the prison chief didn't notice, she came in front of the prison map and secretly stole it. She gave it to Abraham who was cleaning here. After returning to the cell, Abraham gave the map to John. This transparent stone contained a map of the entire prison. It couldn't be seen with the naked eye. It had to be put under the laser light through refraction. They were able to clearly see the structure of the prison. John quickly determined the way out of prison. First they would follow the pipe and then go to the well. Like that, they were able to get out of here. Their plan was made. The second problem was that they had to find a way to get the bomb out of the stomach. At this point, the guy with glasses said he had a way. According to research, the bombs in their stomach were magnetic. So they just had to use another bomb outside to suck it. And they would also know where the bomb was located. This bald prisoner volunteered to try first, he started taking off his shirt. They successfully sucked the bomb in his stomach. The guy with the glasses started moving the bomb gradually upward. But the process was extremely painful for the bald prisoner. When the bomb reached his throat, he couldn't breathe. Fortunately, he had help from other prisoners. So he vomited the bomb out. After that, the other five prisoners took out the bomb in turn. They put these bombs in the iron pipe at the re-education place. Then they intentionally fought each other to lead to chaos. This action caught the attention of the surveillance system. The system intended to activate the bomb to kill them. But unexpectedly, the bombs were exploded and broke the iron pipe into a hole. The five of them took the opportunity to get into the iron pipe. But the iron pipe suddenly spewed out hot gas. They had to go back. At this moment, John had no intention of running out to surrender. They went to the other side of the iron pipe to ambush. Fire was sprayed inside. After that, there was a robotic arm that went in to find the way. Taking that opportunity, John dragged it in and beat it to death with an iron bar. They then took the gun away. They started to rush out and shoot wildly. They also destroyed another robot. At this moment, there was a surveillance robot spraying mist. But all were destroyed by John. They took the elevator to the top floor of the prison. In this place, he saw his wife being brought to the operating table. Just give birth to the baby, she would die instantly. Seeing this, John was very worried and threatened the prison chief to release her. Although the prison chief obeyed, the AI system refused the request. It thought he was a traitor and shot him dead. John quickly took the guy with the glasses to the monitoring room. To break the AI system. After several tries, he finally succeeded. But there was a robot rushing in and shooting at him repeatedly. Seeing that, John quickly counterattacked. John helped the guy with the glasses sit up, he tried his best to push the button. Finally the AI system was also destroyed. John broke into the operating room to save his wife. After that, they boarded a prison van together. And successfully escaped this high-tech prison. Not long after, John stopped in front of a wooden house. He let his wife give birth here. He didn't know that the car outside started the system by itself. It rushed to the other prisoners and crushed them. When seeing that, John hastily carried his wife to avoid the attack of that car. John left his wife aside, took a gun and shot madly. He stood alone to attract the attention of the car. So the car turned and sped towards John. When John was about to activate the flamethrower to stop it. But it suddenly turned and rushed to the wooden house that his wife was staying in. So the wooden house and the car caught on fire. In an instant, the wooden house turned to ashes. John was extremely desperate. He rushed to the ruins to find his wife. When he was really depressed, he heard a baby's cry. According to the sound, John found his wife. She was holding a child. Fortunately, both of them were uninjured. Their family was lucky to escape death. In a future with such high technology, how long could their family hide?